Right, welcome back to the Average Golfers channel and today it is about wedges and uh, these are special wedges in my opinion, they let the car out of the bag already, I'm loving these things, been playing around with them all morning here at Wallasey Golf Club and whether you like shiny things, whether you like that raw finish on your wedges or whether you like these things that you've seen, this kind of copper finish in Mizuno irons of late, then they've got every base covered in terms of how they look, also in terms of the grinds they offer, the lofts they offer. The question is, why do I think these are so special and why do I think that every golfer is going to absolutely love them in the bag? Get up. Get up. Get up. Oh, in the end that was perfect. The interesting thing for me is uh, these wedges. First of all, we've already seen just how good these things look. They're incredible. I think, honestly, and I know there's been a lot of positivity around wedge reviews in the last few weeks, to be honest with you. And it's not something I generally get excited about. But I think with Mizuno, with these wedges, they've took it up another notch in terms of on my eye. And I think not just the fact that there's three different types of finishes that you've seen, and I think they could appeal to every eye, but I think they look really good at address is the key point. It's definitely a player's profile. It's definitely more the sort of classic look. I don't know whether it would, again, a few people might be put off by it. It's certainly not what you'd class that sort of game improvement style wedge. This is classic wedge done really, really well with an immense amount of feel in it. I mean, again, forged head, They've just got a set of wedges here which are going to appeal to a lot of golfers. And if you're a Mizuno iron player, sticking these in the bag, I think will pretty much be a no-brainer. Right, so you've seen some imagery on just how good these look, at least that's what I think. But what I want to know from you in the comments down below, if you're choosing one of these finishes, which would it be? Is it this chrome? Is it the, uh, the raw finishes they're calling it? Or is it the denim copper, which I don't really know where the denim bit comes from. But anyway, once you put your comment down below and uh, took your pick, because I reckon you'll fancy one of these three. One of the next things I want to talk about is just the confidence that these things give you. Tight lie. Uh, Lynx turf, bit of an awkward little shot pin right at the front. These sit for me again really nice at address. And the thing you want here is a bit of confidence, I think, in terms of how it sits behind the ball. So it doesn't feel awkward if you like. And I do think some wedges can lie a little bit awkward for me. It sits really nice. And then it's it's a field shot. So again, what these give you back into the hands in terms of uh, some feedback, uh, just absolutely stunning. Well, I think we've hit that a little bit too firm. The idea was to kind of sting it into the bank. It didn't quite do that and it's hopped on a bit. But again, it's just like I said, it's that responsiveness out the face. And I can only stress that if you've played Mizuno irons, nothing feels like a Mizuno. Well, they've pretty much done that in the wedges in terms of the feel and it's their biggest deal. The biggest separator, if you like, for me, is just how good these things feel compared to the other wedges that they're up against. I was a really good wedge in terms of dis distance control and just looking at the pitch mark as well, but uphill lie, that's uh, got plenty of uh, stopping power control. And if you see some of the short shots that I'm playing now in and around greens, what you're looking at now is we've got three wedges. We've got a 50, a 56 and a 60. These three shots are each played with those and you can see the difference in the ball flight and again, very, very different. Not necessarily want every wedge in the bag and you could close the face on a couple of these or open the faces up and uh, get a little bit of variety with maybe just one of those wedges in the bag. But the fact that they've got so many different lofts, so many different grinds, which every brand has got right now. Can we hold birdie? Can we hold birdie? No, it stopped on the lip. Oh, there is a 10 second rule and we should just perhaps wait a little in case that one drops. 
Now we can't do a wedge test without testing out a bunker, certainly not at Wallasey Golf Club, these things are gorgeous. On the 12th hole it's absolutely surrounded by them, a vetted bunkers, look superb. But how good can we get out with, a, I've got 60 degree in my hand right now, can we pop one up? Uh, that's just coming in off the bank, that wasn't too bad, you know, we take that any time, but I think again, Judging wedges by bunker plate is a difficult one to do at the end of the day. It's, uh, I think that's very much about your uh, ability, as I suppose a lot of this is in terms of the review. Sits nice, plenty of club face open there in terms of 60 degrees. It's what I like to play. Did we learn a lot from that? Probably not. And Now one quick thing to mention is that uh, there's a lot of positivity surrounding reviews right now. I always say this and uh, so maybe I'm playing these things, the feedback I can give you is uh, positive on the field, positive on the sound, positive on the looks, it's all like it's getting a bit boring and so the question is what I'm looking down at these wedges now and what I just thought well if I was feeding back some negativity what would it be? And I'm struggling so again if you've got anything in there that you can see that might be a negative that I'm not picking up on then please feel free to stick it in the comments because I'm not seeing it right now, but like I said, I might be missing something. You're gonna go in? No, that's gone past the flag. Left ourselves a tricky one back, but I've got to say that's probably the last shot I need to play in terms of testing these wedges. Another little tight lie, that was 50 degree wedge I just played there. And again, feel is superb. A variety of shots that you can play. I've loved having these 50, 56 and 60 in the bag. And in all honesty, they could quite possibly stay there because this is a wedge that's really hard to find fault with. And then you couple that with the kind of looks that they've got. When I said hard to find fault, hard to find fault in terms of performance. Then you look at how good they look. Then you look at the sort of compactness of the club. Then you've got the feel thrown in. It really is a wedge that you cannot find fault with. And that's the way I think we'll end it. If you're looking for wedges, I think if you're looking at Vokies, you've got Vokies in the bag, if, whatever you've got right now, next time you test your wedges, make sure you give them a go because they're right up there with the very best I have tried, if not the best.